my name is Alex Ross. I'm the host of the show. We've got a special guest all the way from LA. His name is Mark James. He's a creature creator, makeup artist. He's been in the business quite a while. Known him a long time. Very lucky to have him here. He's going to come out and explain what goes on behind the scenes when you're making a horror movie, which is extremely interesting. So I have a lot of fun. So let's make a lot of noise for Mr. Mark James! Crazy. I went down to time my shoe, the person behind me thought that I cut the line and they sent their kid up to me like to fight the battle. Like it's a little kid. I mean I'll fight the kid, but it's a kid. Right. And he stabbed me. I think it's like a wand or something. I because afterwards on the way to the first date I went past a window and I did that and a spell went off. <laughs> There's a At least it's an interactive injury. That's funny, actually, that's funny. I'm not laughing, but it's like, should, it should be funny. It's just your delivery. It's too soon. Yeah, it's intense. It's on top of your laugh. Yeah, it's okay. I don't mind that. I believe you've never got a laugh at your voice. No, no. <laughs> Most laughs I get is like when people first see my forehead. <laughs> Are you okay? Are you all right? Yeah, I've got a little bit of a black lung. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> You're yep, looking at that mascara mine. <laughs> Perfect. I'm gonna do the show. Good. What? All these people came to see you do the show. I, Get over I, here. I, Get I, over I, here. I don't. You have to do this. I'm turning off my microphone so I can talk to you in private. Listen to me. I don't want to do it. <laughs> but I'm gonna do it. Yeah, you need to do it. Fine. You can be a, you can be a real jerk sometimes. <laughs> that was on the microphone. Thanks a lot. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to do the show. I'm sorry, everyone. Hi. Oh, is that video? Hi. 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 Oh, thank you. Thank you for real. Oh, it's so sweet. Hi. You're so smiley. That's good. Most girls don't do that. <laughs> Usually when a girl smiles, I'm like me. Like, Did you pull this out? I'm so nervous. I don't know. Not all the way, but just like a, like a tiny... Hey, don't do it. I'm sorry. I'm scared. I'm sorry. Ow, thank you though. I just ah, ah, you. Ugh. Are you dead? Yeah. That's it for Mark J. Did you believe all of that? The whole thing. Yes. All acting except for my opinion of you being a jerk. Good to see you. <laughs> It's my job to gross you out, freak you out, and weird you out. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys don't realize this, but Universal actually invented the horror movie as we know it today. So cool. I actually brought a clip to get you in the mood. These are some of my favorite moments in Universal's legacy of horror. But before we see this stuff, this one is used to it. If you're easily nauseated or you become frightened, just close your eyes. But let your kids watch. <laughs> Special effects and up time allows. Probably later in the show, we'll show you what's behind this curtain of mystery. This is something he's working on for a children's show yeah, project. I thought I could bring that stuff for the families here today. Is it okay if I see it? Um, not yet, sorry. Why not? I kind of alluded to it. That's my fault. No, no. I had a technical glitch with it the other day, and I'm hoping maybe before the end of the show we can see it. Okay. 
we definitely are gonna see it, but let's play it as maybe for drama. Okay. And do me a favor in the meantime, run up to the sweet audience, find me a volunteer, maybe a lady, a lady? whose family doesn't need her anymore. Oh. <laughs> I have one of those at home. Poor life. We never pick people that want to do it. They always turn out to be some kind of a freak. <laughs> Is she a freak? <laughs> nice shirt. <laughs> Will you get rid of her? She still, she still did like you, but now she doesn't anymore. We're looking for someone who probably wishes they were in their car right now, driving to another destination. I think I would like that. You, ladies and gentlemen. Take pictures, okay? Oh my stars. I picked you because you had that twister on top of your head. <laughs> You're scared? Yes. Who made you come in here? Your husband? No. You just walked in because you wanted to sit down for a while? Yeah. <laughs> my name's Alex. Your name is? Tamir. Tamir, nice to meet you. Tamir, Tamir, this is Mark. Nice to meet you, Tamir. Welcome. <laughs> I forgive you. <laughs> Sweet Tamir, where are you from? I love it, Tamir. Tamir from Baltimore! Let's get a picture! I love it, yeah, let's pose. Oh. I love it. So since Tamir is visiting, I'm going to give her all the pieces she needs to build a tour guide for Orlando. If you want, Tamir, could you put your arms kind of like that? I'm going to give you all these parts. I know, you kind of have to put them together. He's from Ikea. <laughs> Actually, we got a few. We got one, two, three, actually four. You know what? He's a tour guide. Let's go with more hands for the pointing out the side. <laughs> you know, of course, we gotta have a leg to get around town. We have that right here. And Norm, mm, sorry, I know it's funny to say, oh, foot stinks, but literally, I don't know if the lights did something. Don't sniff it to me, but it's so soft. Just enjoy. Fine, I'll take this over myself. Actually, if you guys wanna drop the rest of this stuff off, I gotta grab something real quick out of the fridge. Just up there, Tamir. Thank you, Grandpa. <laughs> I am sorry, Tamir. I don't know why I'm apologizing. Whoever was responsible for that should be sorry. That won't happen again. Tamir's been in this Here we are, assisted. If you could do me a favor, sir, roll up your sleeve. Okay. Wow, shoulder pads. Folks, you may be wondering where we got those severed arms that are on the counter back there. I'm going to show you one way to get it. Me? Why would you come me? I'm your friend. I'm show you. You're going to cut me. I'm gonna use this big old blade though. I'll use this small blade instead. This thing will cut through a tin can and a woman. <laughs> I, if I may. I loved you on the set. <laughs> It's gonna look like it hurts because it's, it's gonna hurt. Don't worry though, it's all fake, but they have to believe that it hurts. If you would, can you give us, if you've already done a few, like a practice screen just to let us know what we're dealing with? One, two, three! <laughs> I respect that, it takes real fear. That'll happen, don't worry, you're doing fine. Ooh, I'm so nervous, I know, I, I'm nervous. I don't even, I don't, I don't, I don't work here. <laughs> We're spies from SeaWorld. <laughs> Here we go, one, two, wait, 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 whoa, you scared Before me. You cut them. There are kids in the house. You want me to cut the kids? <laughs> no, I want you to talk to the kids. You got it, sweet kids. Listen up. <laughs> All the play three is in today on stage and in the movies are safe, one way or the other, whether they're dull or even made out of plastic. The people who set up the gags are professionals with training, so whatever you do, don't try this at home. Do it at your friend's house. <laughs> <laughs> no. No? Do it at your grandmother's house. Dude, for real, no. Then where? Church. <laughs> Can we get Hosemont Tamir? Oh, perfect. Right, Tamir. Don't Me worry, too. Right. A star is born. <laughs> One, two, three. Yeah. Oh, yes, she's a leader. Yeah. 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 You better run. Yes. Is this supposed to go into the skin? Oh. What should we do? Take a picture. Does it hurt? Yeah. 
It does. Turn it all the way on. Let me show you how we did it. Ta-da! You did great. First of all, the blade is actual metal, so it looks sharp on camera, but you know it's dull. Right behind the handle, there's this big blood bowl filled with fake blood. It's corn syrup, red food coloring, and a drop of blue to give it a more realistic look. The big secret, though, the blade seems so obvious at first. It's because it slides in and out of the handle. So it starts pushed in, so it looks like a single blade. We drag it around. After all that motion, we drop and then quickly pull this back. It looks like it's going in. This gag is developed by Tom Savini, very talented makeup artist out of Pennsylvania. Blade's not real. Tamir's only emotionally hard. That's it. A makeup artist at Universal. This goes back almost a hundred years. I love it. To the 1920s, to makeup pioneer Lon Chaney. Ah, uh, known as the man of a thousand faces. He actually created all of the makeup he wore for the monsters he played for at Universal. Awesome monsters. Phantom of the Opera, Hunchback of Notre Dame. Such a good actor. He suffered for these roles. In fact, here he put bleach in his eye, which is made up, sorry. But in the hunchback, he actually wore a 20-pound hump and this harness that bent his body. So even off camera, he had to stay hunched over while filming. Even today, though, we kind of have to guess how he did this stuff. Like a magician, he was secretive about his techniques and took those secrets with him to his grave. But his legacy lived on. Phantom started a horror craze in the 30s, paving the way for new monsters. And with all of those new monsters, makeup artists. Jack Pierce there did the makeup for such famous and well-known monsters like the Wolfman, the Mummy, Bride of Frankenstein, Lady Gaga, and Nicolas Cage. <laughs> Birthday night. He actually perfected his creatures by visiting places like morgues so he could get close and study dead bodies. Boris Karloff played one of my favorites, Frankenstein's monster. Hefty combination of rubber, plaster, mortician's wax, grease paint, and two Hershey kisses. Can you find them? <laughs> it's good eight hours, four hours in a makeup chair. Doing your all the makeup for the mummy character. 10 hours for just 10 minutes of screen time. Universal with some awesome monsters, but every studio has their less popular ones, like the Metal Luna Mutant from this island Earth. Come here, Earth Woman. No, wait, I want a picture, but. <laughs> 68 came along. John Chambers changed the industry forever. Used foam latex in the original Planet of the Apes. To this day, students. What, the alarm or getting caught? The <laughs> alarm! How do you feel about getting caught in front of, like, I didn't get caught. Things. I didn't do anything. Are we, are we doing this? <laughs> okay, fine. What happened? <laughs> Keep it together! This is real theater! Come on, summer stock! <laughs> I love you, Annie. That's Miss Hand again. I was standing there oh, with that guy. It. What? Going back to that situation? Yeah. Let me turn the page back to five. Yeah. So but, I, but I did. What happened? That kid in the red shirt. Well, he's over there. He threw a rock at the curtain. He like, threw very really hard, and then he went like this. <laughs> What does that mean? I think he's Italian. <laughs> okay, I think assumptions like that, sorry to be sensitive, that's, that's offensive to me. Why? Because I used to work at Olive Garden. <laughs> <laughs> Sir. <laughs> he says, did you really throw a rock? Oh. <sighs> Kid says he didn't do it. Kids lie. <laughs> well, what's your name? Bradley. That's called Bradley. I love your board games. Bradley. <laughs> no, that's cool. I love that. Now, where are you from, dude? Um, Florida. Florida. I love Florida. Obviously, we're here now, but I was, last time, what was it? I was here. Do, 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 do. How old are you? You 10 for real? Like... <sighs> What's wrong with you? I'm sorry. What um, happened? I'm sorry. <laughs> um, waterproof. Uh, <laughs> did you know 
last time I was on the show, yeah. uh, which was the last time I was in Florida, that was 10 years and nine months ago. <laughs> <laughs> That's a baby boy. <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? I'm gonna end the joke before it makes things awkward. Let's get back to the show. <laughs> What were we talking about the video and then... We were talking about Planet of the Apes, 1968, and the name of that Playtex. Yeah, it's for real? Yeah. Playtex. What did I say? Oh, you said Playtex. Oh. <laughs> Those are different. Thank you. <laughs> Playtex covers different... Monsters. Okay, I was talking about Playtex and the different ways to bring a creature to life. Um, actually, a cool example of how we use Latex in Universal's remake of Mummy came out a few years ago. Ah! You can see our conceptual drawings of bringing the character to life. In this case, we designed for actress Sophia Butera, who played our lovely mummy in the film. Before we applied the makeup to her, we created a 3D sculpt of what it should look like, quite simply used in the makeup room as reference. One look in the movie, these little runic symbols, like hieroglyphics, had to be glued onto her face individually by tweezer. Easy but meticulous. To get it perfect each time took over two hours just from the neck up. Then they created large silicone appliances, like huge temporary tattoos with this ink-infused glue embedded into them, so the artist could more easily apply the thousands of other ones needed to cover her body. I can't believe we actually got this rare, actual footage of how fast the makeup artist had to work to get the job done. That's before getting her into costume. That took over an hour. Both she and her stunt double Lucy Cork in the black shirt, not doing a stunt at all, went through this process over and over during the film. But in the end, it looked pretty cool. I love seeing makeup artists surprise an audience. It's always the intention, but big names that stand out are like Tom Savini, who did the knife at the top of our show, uh, Rick Baker, who we didn't mention yet, but he's won seven Academy Awards, which is more than six. <laughs> he won for Wolfman, he won for Grinch. Men in Black, Nutty Professor Ed Wood. Never interrupt me again or I'll kick you in the throat. <laughs> he won this one, his very first Academy Award win. This movie is funny, it's scary, I love it. It's an American Werewolf in London. It won Rick Baker the first Academy Award ever given for special makeup effects. Actor David Naughton transforms in front of our very eyes without computer effects or camera tricks into a very convincing and creepy American Werewolf in London. It's a great movie. If you've never seen it, find it, watch it, you love it. But when you're watching that movie and the werewolf is growing, you don't see a lot of the edit. How was that accomplished 39 years ago? Walk me uh, this way, but let's make it special. <laughs> Rick Baker pioneered the art of mechanical creature effects, so underneath the makeup for most of that transformation, this guy was in place of the actor. It was a fiberglass skull with moving sections, driven by pneumatics. And pneumatics is air pressure. Uh -huh. Makes it move, which gives life to the latex masks. We stretch over the skulls. These are really from the movie. We fixed them up through the years. To get it from human to wolf took nine of these total, so seven in between to progress it to this point. But beautifully detailed skin, porcelain dentures, real human hair. This is real hair? Yeah. Where do you get real hair? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have brought that up. You're rude. <laughs> Do you still use this practical makeup today? Yeah, this is awesome because we can more perfect this nowadays with CGI. And CGI is computer-generated imagery. Smart man, I have one more clip, but that's cool. Oh, look, wait. Sometimes mechanical effects or traditional makeup doesn't give a movie what it needs, even if it's simply for time or budgetary reason. So we'll use computers to bring our babies to life. What you're seeing there is a sort of less perfected, not as detailed as the final product version of one of the mummy's forms in the film. Now, since that computer creature represents the mummy, we had our mummy, Miss Butella, animated by wearing this special digital capture bodysuit. Her physicality, characterization, and acting choices were used to more accurately animate that creature all in real time. This is a reference page for every look in the movie, so whether you're computer team, costume, makeup, you have something like this to look back on just to make sure your work matches the intentions. I love seeing computers and makeup together. It's cool, but like any movie, you have to have great story, directing, acting, and crew. In this case, Mummy comes to life in a cool new way. <laughs> The Kid Show Project awaits. You want to help? I do. Yay. Actually, you can do the controlling. Put on this high voltage vest. High voltage? Oh, it, 
like a low voltage. Half of my body is metal, and you mean put electricity to it? I didn't I said express pass. Now you're just lying to me. Come on. You gotta get somebody else. What are we supposed to do, man? Tamir. For joining us, we're going to give you and your family a three-day cruise. Woo! Brochure. Oh. <laughs> Hi. I missed you. <laughs> Could you help her with the glove and grab the camera? I'll get a picture of Tamir. Tamir is wearing an ergonomic Gonyo Kineta telemetric input device. It's a high-tech puppet controller. Her movements will be electronically transmitted into the creature I created for the kid show. So sensors, gyroscopes will relay her motions into the creature. Let me introduce you to the big man. I brought my own drum roll. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to present to you seven months of work. This is Eddie! He looks good under the lights. That thing is for a children's show? I should mention he's for the very last episode of Dora the Explorer. <laughs> it's live action, of course. Dora learns to run muy rapido. <laughs> what happens to her? She dies. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dora. Spoiler. <laughs> you're gonna be fine. Um, when I turn on the power, you're gonna feel just like cotton candy when I bite it. You're gonna feel... <laughs> Sorry, it's just fantasy. Um, but no, you won't feel any. It's like a, it's like a, like a sort of like a. Have you ever like licked a taser? Okay. Ugh. My point is, when you wake up, you'll be right back in Maryland, or at least with an empty of some kind. Two girls having fun. Let's turn on the Powie Mandel. Oh, zappers. You got shot? <laughs> Dude, your lights are blinking weird. You just got shot, and then you said that you were having trouble with this before. Why do you gotta drop that time? Distracting you so you stop worrying about the issues with the electricity, man. If you don't trust me, why don't you just get out of here? I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but you're you're messing up my job. I don't want anything to happen to me. Neither do I, dude. You're just gonna let this happen. I'm not gonna wait. Are you serious? Yes. Dude, you're... Okay, wow. It looks like an evolution chart. <laughs> See how it caught up right to where your arm was? Yeah, yeah, that actually senses motion. This same technology goes back to 1993. Jurassic Park first used it, as far as big films go. Yeah, there's even elbow articulation. This same technology is even used now. Video game animation, keeping Ozzy Osbourne alive. It's good. <laughs> There's even a gyroscope in the helmet, like a compass in your phone, if you want to take like kind of like a bow, sort of like. <laughs> is that for real? <laughs> no, it's okay. It just smells like adventure. <laughs> and butter beer. You did great. Your vest is off, as is the power. What do you think about the telemetry suit? You did great. Thank you, sweet lady, and thank you, Tamir. Tamir, here's a picture of you and that crazy man from the refrigerator. Let's see it for Tamir! Building, and I'm worried now. You're worrying me. 
when you're smiling, that's good. I'm glad you're okay. I wanted to ask. I was worried about it. I'm glad you're all right. Behind you to there! Just kidding. <laughs>